So what's going on, toxic gamers? So while the BBC Samurai situation was raging wildfires in Japan, no diddy, it's still raging wildfires, okay? We got another situation with Star Wars Outlaw. You got the homie Endymion, he went both, okay? He says that they stole her Buddha and all Bruh. that, right? Like that, that's going on apparently. The internet is going ballistic right now. Everybody's going crazy. Everybody's going crazy right now. Because Ubisoft, look at that. Look at this abomination of a character because the actual actress that they modeled this character after she is attractive in real life but this is how she be looking like in the game okay like the video if you think there are two genders just like the video if you think there are five thousand genders you got everybody's going crazy except for the homie hollow point but hollow point is more like a gameplay walkthrough channel right so he doesn't necessarily gives his opinion which is perfectly fine but he's also not saying that the game is amazing or anything like that right because if he says that everybody's gonna go crazy at him but he doesn't say the game sucks either which is understandable right because if he does say that he's gonna lose uh, sponsorships he's not necessarily gonna be getting like early access no more okay so it'd be like like that Asmongol calling this game like a dog he says that Star Wars Outlaws looks like dog shies that's what he says you got the homie <laughs> yellow flash he says that f you Ubisoft <laughs> he went crazy roll this one shout out to the homie yellow flash check this this game is a half-baked mess and like I said this is separated from the criticism of the main character who by the way th th this is a much more flattering picture but she still looks bad so you have the director of the game the creative director come out and say that it's not worth engaging with these people that criticize Kay's looks. They're doing it in bad faith. This comes from an interview that he did with the Washington Post where they asked about the discourse that some are pushing on social media that Kay isn't attractive enough. His response, don't give that conversation attention. Kay yeah. is meant to be approachable. A petty thief who ends up barreling through this story, making bad decisions and centered with a lot of humor, humility, and toughness. What's more important to me, that's more important to me. And she's beautiful, come on. She looks like a Vulcan. Like a man Vulcan. Okay, so listen, this is a fake character. This is not a Wait real for it. woman. Wait for it. All right. Nobody's feelings should be getting hurt. Now, they've tried yeah. to push this on the actress, and this is not what the actress looks like. And I talked about this briefly in yesterday's video, and I should have shown what she looks like, even though I've shown her before. I should have done that. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. The reason that a lot of people are talking about this is because they obviously made massive changes to the actress that they used for motion capturing. Yeah, like it the It doesn't make any sense to me why they changed her face. So on the left is the real face behind the face and she's pretty this would have been fine i don't know uh, to be honest though <laughs> pump the brakes right like on the in in this picture the the game character does not look too bad Bruh. like I'll, I'll be honest you know there are different shots uh, I, I believe this is the artwork so the in, in the artwork you only see the the crimson jawline that jawline is stronger than brock lesnar out here looks like that she can beat up Brock Lesnar. This is how the character looks like in in game. Look at that jawline, bro. <laughs> she angry though. She <laughs> she angry, right? But uh, I I gotta be honest. In this shot, don't look too bad though, right? I I gotta be honest. Understand? Well, actually, I do understand uh, why they didn't use her face. Well, because well, uh, to have another pretty face would make a certain group of people very upset uh, because they'll never look feminine like this. They can't. That's not how they were born. And. Because of that, there seems to be some kind of push in the video game industry where we need to make women look gender neutral. Yeah, that's they what it is. very obviously changed this woman's face. They changed her nose. They changed her eyebrows. They changed her cheeks. They changed her chin. Looks, The, the lips look around the same, but the chin, the cheeks, the eyebrows, yeah. the nose, all that has been changed. Mm. Mm. They even gave her a crooked nose. I don't know if you can tell, but if you look up... Uh, to, to me, uh, from this angle, the nose looks kind of odd, though. But but I know what you mean, right? Like, it, in the game, from different angles, it does look pretty bad. It looks like... A, yeah, like, doesn't look like a woman, apparently. So... And, and they model after a real woman. Uh, here, she laughing, so she got like that. You know what I mean? But... She got a bigger face there, but nah, she's actually very attractive in real life. So she's smiling. I mean, that smile's beautiful, man. Like, damn, homie. Towards the end of her nose, over by her eyes. You can see that there's like a bend there. They went out of their way to try to ugly her up. This isn't the only picture I'm going to show you. There's more. Here's another one. Yeah. Yeah. And what's oh, funny is man. they'll say we didn't change her face. That's the same face. Like you're stupid. Like, bitch, I can see. I can see. And look at her eyebrows. They, don't those look like Vulcan eyebrows? They're not the same. They're not the same. And it's funny to me. They'll come out and say, well, it's harder to do a woman's face. You sure about that? Do you even know like how much time girls take to make their eyebrows? eyebrows right like so yeah this is a real real actress right 
she must have spent like an hour <laughs> and she must have spent an hour on the eyebrows alone i mean nothing wrong with that you like that you like that boo boo okay i got nothing against that okay you do you boo boo but in the game look at that like what Bruh. what look at those where are those eyebrows i don't even see those eyebrows man look at that jawline brother that chin bro that chin is stronger than half of the men well, probably watching this video man half of you that are watching this video right this chin you don't even have that strong of a jawline you wish you had that strong of a that strong of a jawline but apparently ubisoft is like we're gonna give her that strong of a jawline in game how come the man's faces look pretty much spot on every time it's only with the women that they do this and that's why yeah i do think they're trying to make them all gender neutral right now I'm, I'm just saying that obviously there's games where this doesn't happen but it's it's mostly a thing in triple a games and i wish i had it on hand there's a meme that's got a lot of the modern Western female characters in it, and they all have these masculine features now. But to sit there and tell me that this is the same face unaltered, that's disingenuous. People can see. Yeah. It's a lie. These are not the same. Well, there's resemblance there, but that's because they used her face, and then they changed her up. Here's another one. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out, time out. Tranquilo, tranquilo, brother. Tranquilo, papi. So this is uh, Photoshop, right? But this is real. Is that real? Okay, now I don't even know. So yeah, this is the normal, act, neutral actress face, right? She doesn't look anything like whatever they did in game, bro. <laughs> this is uh, AI making the face on the right more like the actress. If, yeah, on the right, okay. If she looked like the picture on the right, I don't think we would be having these conversations about what she looks like. And they're so dis the, the hair still does look pretty bad though like what the actual like, yeah the hair looks pretty bad but okay the, the face is much better than this absolutely yeah this is a real one yeah this is a real one now i'm getting ptsd yeah so this is a real one i remember now ingenuous they don't want to talk about it because they know everybody's right so they just call you a misogynist and all the usual playbook names that they go after people with but you mm. don't accept their horse shit mm, mm, mm. and honestly this isn't even this is not even the, the major conversation to have right now. Talking about the half-fake gameplay and mechanics in this game, I think, are more important than this because the game is broken, and they're just going to release a broken game. Now, maybe they'll fix it. Maybe in the next, over the next two weeks, uh, we will get a beautiful day one patch that fixes everything, but somehow I doubt it. I think usually these kind of last-minute things create more bugs. Uh, but <clears> we'll see. Maybe it'll run fine, but judging... Let, let, me, let me show you this. Let me show you this. So, the Asmund Gold reaction was perfect. And after that, we got something else as well. Boys, check this. This is one of the games that's performing so well that Ubisoft literally can't tell their shareholders how many pre-orders they're getting. Could you talk about pre-orders for both Outlaws and, and Shadows and how they compare to previous titles? So, in terms of... Um, we uh, we don't disclose nor comment... Uh... <laughs> uh, pre-orders, uh, pre uh, usually. It's a bomb. <laughs> oh my god you know the craziest thing here is that i was calling this ps3 graphics but the internet got no chill they're saying that this is worse than ps2 10 fps one guy said laggy oh my god the fps oh, got the tooth. i should get out of here I love the internet, man. I love the internet. It's a mobile game. Assassin's Creed sneak level, one guy said. Peak 2004 gameplay. I think there's PlayStation 3 games that play better than this, that look like, that look better than this. This is terrible. Like, look at the explosion after this grenade launcher. Watch this. Exactly, man. Exactly. I swear to God. Like, I think Gears of War 2 is better than it. Probably looks better than this. Yeah, like, forget about, like, all the woke crap, right? Objectively speaking, the game just... Holy crap. Like, what the actual... Why are games becoming like this, man? We're in... We got PlayStation 5! We got Series X! PlayStation is like, what, 10 some teraflops? Xbox is 12 teraflops! They said that gaming will never be the same. We're gonna have next-gen gaming, you know, 8K, 120 FPS written on the box, although that's uh, most probably for movies and all that crap, right? Maybe for Fortnite. Uh, but, but okay, all right, like forget about 8K, right? What about 4K? Y'all sickers were saying that it's gonna be 4K, 120 FPS, right? Maybe resolution-wise, yeah, but the textures and the graphics still look pretty crap. And I get it, like, graphics don't make the games up, but at least uh, get it uh, get it with the times.
Get it with the times. Turret is active, K. It's a dog shit game. Yeah, this really just doesn't look... Even if you were comparing this to Assassin's Creed, I think Assassin's Creed looks way better than this visually and combat-wise. Even that looks better. So the homie in Damion, who said that they stole her uh, Bruna. Bruh. Check this. Shout out to the homie Yellow Flash. Shout out to the homie in Demion. Roll it. My ideal droid open world Star Wars game. But even some of the journalists out there are saying from what they played that Outlaws is nothing special in the gameplay department either. This article comes from End Gadget. I really want to like Star Wars Outlaws, but two previews and one deep dive later, I'm not convinced I will. They spent the majority of the article claiming that nothing they played stood out and everything that they were doing in this game, they had done in other games that were much better. The so apparently a reviewer is saying that I never thought that I would see a day where a reviewer would try to be honest because uh, you know if they try to be ultra honest they would lose the ability to get games uh, early right you, you know what I mean right for for reviewing but if all the reviewers say bad things about it right and, and be genuine about it and then say bad things not say bad things for the sake of saying bad things but be genuine about it and and, and say how they feel and how the game really is if everybody be, was honest all mostly all of them would say the game is dogpile and if everybody said that it's dogpile i wonder at that point who ubisoft is gonna sponsor next time and who they're not gonna sponsor next time you feel what i'm saying because if everybody's saying like bad things about it and everybody's being genuine Right, exactly. So uh, uh, are, are they going to like blacklist everybody? They cannot blacklist everybody. They need people. They need the influencers. They need everybody, right? You feel what I'm saying? The shooting is apparently basic, generic third person stuff. And the stealth is classic new school Ubisoft, where you just crouch. And as long as you're not standing directly in the enemy's line of sight, you're pretty much invisible to everyone. They also say in their play sessions that the game has really bad design when it comes to guiding the player as to where they want to go. Apparently at one point, yeah. Engadget's journalist here entered a cavern and couldn't see anything in the dark space as to how to move on. They they tried jumping forward but died, they went going left and right and nothing. It wasn't until the Ubisoft representative pointed out that way, way up above the player, completely out of their peripheral vision, was a long cable sitting in an otherwise deeply dark cavern that was borderline impossible to see. And then you were able to use that cable or rope to progress. This apparently kept happening to this journalist. Now I won't say that this will be the common player experience like this journal was having, but it is objectively the developer's job to make their game flow well and make sense. Yeah. And clearly based on this article, this journalist left both play sessions feeling like the game was not specializing itself in any one thing which makes me feel like Outlaws is going to be a lot like another Ubisoft franchise, that being Watch Dogs. Which, once you get to Watch Dogs Legion, the game just lost its identity almost entirely. And no one part of that game felt like it was specializing itself, you know what I mean, right? How some games do certain mechanics really well to the point of perfection? Think of Super Mario games and how organic the jumping- Okay, on this one, like, she don't look super bad though, but of course you still see the jawline. There are certain things that you, once you see it, you can never unsee it, folks. Like, yeah, once you see it, you never, you can never unsee it. So you see the jawline, but the rest of the character don't look too bad. But, you know, you <laughs> in some aspects, holy crap, bro. You see, you see, that's a man, right? That's Shawn Michaels right there, bro. Yeah. That, that's Shawn Michaels, bro. From the... <laughs> That's Shawn Michaels from the 90s right there. Holy crap, bro. And running feels? Or how Sekiro's parry mechanic is just borderline perfection when it comes to how that should feel in a video game. This is what separates the meh games from the masterpieces. Because instead of trying to do 16 different things okay, they specialize on maybe 3 or 4, and it works way better. And, and for my Indian homies, for my Indian homies, uh, yeah, you know what I mean, right? Like, Akshay Kumar, you know what I mean, Akshay Kumar, you Akshay Kumar. Yeah, if you got if you understood, you understood. If you did not, guys, uh, my bad I was speaking another language. Uh, so my homies understand. You feel I'm saying? Anybody from Pakistan, let me know, man. Outlaws to me seems to be based on these previews and everything to be one of those games that does 20 different things, but doesn't do any of them particularly great. Because Ubisoft wants every game they have coming out to feel like they need to keep having variety without actually refining anything instead. Maybe the shooting sucks, but who cares? Go drive yeah. a bike or climb yeah. something or do some lock picking. Just keep distracting yourself with various gameplay mechanics that range from boring to okay. And hopefully, you won't notice that everything is being held together by safety pins and duct tape the entire time. I mean, clearly it's not going well. The IGN preview, as you can see here, has a really bad ratio of likes versus dislikes. Then, of course, there's this one moment in the IGN preview where players roasted the game in IGN for trying to pass it off as looking cool. I mean, here, watch this. As such, oh. the blaster battles felt like they had meaningful stakes, and the stealth gameplay had a bit of weight to it because I knew that I'd be up against it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't take a genius to look at that gameplay clip and think, wow, this doesn't look refined at all. Meaningful stakes, and the stealth <laughs> gameplay had... Okay, yo, <laughs> Tranquilo, brother. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, papi. 
bit of weight to it to prove that I'd be up. K Vess is deflecting blaster shots at point blank range with her crimson chin and clipping into enemies while other enemies' AI seems to be having an existential crisis in the background. You ask me, Outlaws looks like the most 7 out of 10 game I've seen all year. Now, maybe a 6. What I mean to say is that the game. 7 out of 10? Bruh, what? Bruh. Bruh. Like, what? Yo, that game is like 3 out of 10. What are we talking about, bro? Like, damn, like, Salmon? Salmon, that's... Uh, that's passable. Salmon is like 70%. And, and 7 out of 10... 7 out of 10 games are generally good. You know, not every game is gonna be 10 out of 10. 7, 8, that's very good. Even 6, uh, if you give a game 6, or so maybe not an immediate purchase, but... It's a 6 out of 10, not the worst game ever. This game, man, Endymion, come on, bro. Like, this is a 3 out of 10. Uh, let me let me know your thoughts. Some of you guys would be saying, no, Skizzle, it's 2 out of 10, bro. Or maybe some of you will say, nah, yeah, nah, actually, Skizzle, it's 4 out of 10. You're wrong. It's better than 3 out of 10. Maybe. Maybe. I it guess. It feels like it will be an average open world game, which I mean, it's made by Ubisoft, so that pretty much checks out. Ubisoft has long forgotten how to be an industry trendsetter. I mean, they ruined Watch Dogs and turned Assassin's Creed into slop over the years, too. Especially in Assassin's Creed's case, Ubisoft has pretty much been chasing the CD Projekt Red Witcher 3 formula for, like, over seven years now, and they still can't make a game that's better than Witcher 3. Like, you know things aren't good Bruh. over there at Ubisoft with articles like huh. this from that park place. Ubisoft executives get evasive after investors question potential low sales for Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows. This article is all about an investors called Ubisoft CEO had and pretty much they tried to dodge the question when it came to pre-orders for both Outlaws and Shadows. There's a lot being said, but to paraphrase, Ubisoft's investors are anticipating Outlaws sales in the 5 million unit area. The investors pretty much keep asking the Ubisoft CEO what they think Outlaws and Shadows will sell compared to previous games. And Ubisoft- uh, how many how many copies do you guys think it, it, it's gonna sell? You think that they can beat 5 million? It, it's, it's hard to say though, I'll, I'll be honest man, it's hard to say because we're talking Star Wars, it's a big IP, it's a big franchise, okay, people know it, Sekas know it, Sekas know it, and I, I don't know man, because a lot of people just be chilling like that, right? You got a lot of people fighting on the streets, you, you got a lot of people fighting in the hood, uh, 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 you got a lot of people fighting on the ground like that, but some people still chilling back and just enjoying it, right? Like, so there are a lot of people that would be like this, okay? Enjoying the banter, enjoying the drama, but still be like this guy and, and playing the game. This guy uh, getting those uh, puff puffs, uh, that's a symbol, a metaphor for a person just watching all the drama video, agreeing with everybody. Yeah, it's it's bad. You're right, brother. It sucks. It's trash. It's dogpile. But you know what? I still got my controller. Huh? You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I got a controller and that controller needs to be playing some games for me right now so I didn't buy the controller to collect dust I bought the controller to play me some games meh so I, there are a lot of people with philosophy like that so suckers would hate it but suckers would still play it so you got those types of people as well and the amount of negative backlash this game is generating alongside the uh, Assassin's Creed situation, the BBC Samurai situation, right? Yeah, I mean, come on now, man. Like, negativity actually sells as well. But in this situation, it's hard to say, man. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see how many copies it sells, for sure. Let me know your thoughts on the situation. On the situation, check out this video on the screen, because... This what happened with Asmongold recently. Your Asmongold came out, blew the lid off. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this video or not. Yes, yeah, is going crazy at Asmongold too. Check out this video on the screen. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.